I'm here to talk about the damn Law and Order SVU DVD series. Well, actually, I can't even call it that because I don't know if it is legit. Now, I've been buying the series DVDs. I collected basically the whole set last year, and I I think they're all knock they're all knockoffs. I don't think I know they are. And I know my season twenty obviously was a knockoff before I even bought it, but I know I wanted a, a physical copy of the product. I'm starting to think, did they ever release a real copy of SVU? I've been to so many video stores, and every time I go to the store, I can't tell the difference. All the cases, all I know is, is that every time I've been to the store, FYE, and compared it to the sets of mine, the coloring and everything that's made from the case, it all looks pretty much exactly the same. So I can't tell the difference. I have the complete Law & Order set. I can tell you something about this. I read a comment from someone that reviewed it. Someone told them they had a, um, a fake version of the product. I'm like, fake version? I don't see any other versions out there that look any different. Um... This is what Law and Order has been reduced to. Since the streaming services, um, there's pretty much no way to watch the show anymore. I read up on SVU and it said the next season you could buy on DVD, but you had to buy it from some some special service or something. And I said to myself, this doesn't sound right. There's a lot of people out there that would want to buy it, but they didn't do it. They won't release it. That's fine. There will be consequences to that, though, because there are physical people that want to go out there and buy physical content. Whether that happens or not, no. They're not going to change it. So the majority of Law & Order that sits out there right now is all it's all half-assed products like I have. And I don't like getting half-assed products, but when I look all over eBay or Amazon or even um, Best Buy, I still get the same product every time. So maybe I am getting the actual product they released, which was total dirt. Um, even my original... The, Let's look at the quality. What quality did I get the most out of in all the, um, um I was going to say Star Wars, Law and Order sets? Um, I'd have to say the original Law and Order came out the best, but it's not quite up to the standard of a real DVD, quality-wise. It still wax sometimes. When you look at it in certain ways, it's like, you know, what the hell did they do to this? And then I'm saying to myself, though, that I can't justify that being a fake. The original Law and Order set, when, it, when I got it, all the discs are straight. None of the prints are like all screwed up. It looks legit to me. And if something's legit, they're not going to include a, a, a real catalog to come with it so it can show all the episodes. SVU looks like crap. They really did. I, I can't believe companies can, are allowed to get away with selling shit like this. But hey, it's been selling for a long time, and a lot of people have these sets. Tons. I have the set, too. There is no other way to buy another set. I, I, um, that's just how it is. Um, for Criminal Intent, that's the same thing. Ah, uh, I'm trying to go back and see. The only ones that actually I thought I bought legit, you're going to think this is funny, is Law and Order L.A., Los Angeles, a Law and Order trial by jury. And those are the two worst ones in the entire series, and they're the only ones that look like they've got a legit set. That's pretty sad. Um, the, the fact of the matter is, it's not under these, none of these companies have a concern for the people that watch these shows when it comes to this. They figure you watch on Hulu or Netflix. But we all know these websites lose the rights to all these show, shows, so we should have physical copies no matter what. But it makes it even more difficult when a show is on for 20 plus years like SVU and I'm 20 years for the original and 10 years for Criminal Intent, one season for LA and I don't even think um, when you put together um, Trial by Jury it's a half a season. They don't give a shit. They don't care and this is why I, it irritates me so much. I'm a person of a fan of, a fan of a show and I don't have the ability to buy it on DVD anymore or Blu-ray. Um, <laughs> uh, the, it comes with the territory. There's just not enough people that will go around and buy it since they DVR everything now. Well, everyone, I like to say good luck, and we'll see what happens. But next time we'll have to um, we'll have to basically we'll, we're gonna have to look at what we buy next time around. If you have a set a TV show that's been on for a long time.
Yeah. You know what I mean. All right. And another thing. You know it's a fake definitely when it's printed all wrong. I know. This hat does not go on straight. Um, the, you look at the Laura and Otter season 20 and you open it. I know it was a fake to begin with. The whole Law and Order is twirled, and it's all, it's like that on a lot of my sets, but it doesn't make sense because even I bought a set all all nineteen or eighteen seasons, and when I looked at all those sets, some of them had really bad coloring on them, but they weren't all over the place with the print. Then you get to the latest seasons, and the print is all over the place. It looks like crap. At this point, it doesn't make any difference to me. I'm not going to worry about Law and Order. To tell you the truth, even if you do get a full quality set, ignore that. Even if you get a full quality set, um, it's not going to look that much better. I mean, it's law and order. Even if you do get a Blu-ray or something of it, it won't look that great. There's nothing to you know to really make look super good. It does look ten times better on reruns and on TV. I hate to say that, but you better give TV the credit. Law and order looks better on television. Unless somehow you can find one of these sets if they exist. Bye-bye.